Today, we're doing a Vox Machina Season 1 specifically character tier list. I'm gonna, you know, put up my favorites and then, uh, then I'll do my favorites for Season 2 when I finish Season 2. So, yeah, I, I am halfway done with Season 2, but I'm going to just like completely disconnect it from, uh, season one and like like my uh my my knowledge of the characters i know i'm also covering a, co so a couple of the characters over here like six but uh, we got allura and a and a ripley uh byron or whatever we got you know fucking scanlan gilmore silas so that's what i'm covering as of like right now so uh yeah <laughs> but yeah pretty much relatively like everybody that like had that was doing something in there i had like i have the council of like Taldore, i have uriel obviously vox machina and a cut and like you know uh the the main villains like delilah and silas so i don't really have like every character but i have every like you know character that i can remember <laughs> you know so yeah might as well get right to it and start off with allura i mean I can't really put her higher, right? Especially season one, Allura, because she was just kind of mean. But I mean, understandable. Fox Machina kind of sucked. But I, I mean, they weren't they weren't conventional, bro. They weren't conventional. Because if I, I like, I'll also say if I put her higher, it's kind of biased. Cause I think I I just think she's hot, bro. So uh, I'll put her like in B. Yeah. There's not really like a middle tier because you know it's A B C D F. Yeah. If I put like an E in here, but I mean like, I guess oh yeah, I should probably put like just a. Here I I I, I not a, not an E tier, but like a boring, <laughs> the boring tier, boring, and then like you know obviously we got F being like the worst one, bro. All right, so boring. All right, we got Anna Ripley is next. I already knew Anna Ripley. I, I already knew I'm not. I wasn't gonna like Anna Ripley. Uh, like immediately when I saw her goofy ass in the uh, in the motherfucking uh, the cell in the in the in the fucking uh, I, I forgot what it was called. The fucking Percy spy, bro. But I, I knew I wasn't gonna like her C tier, bro. I don't like I didn't I didn't like fucking uh, no nah, I can't put her in D tier because that's just bad. But yeah, C tier. I know uh, like so far. I mean like obviously in season one she did, hasn't really she didn't really do much besides just like haha betray them because you know of course she would or you know run away because of course she would like what she didn't really do much. She not she wasn't born because she she has like some essential you know um part in the story next up is byron or yeah i think his name is byron i think so but kind of like anna ripley knew i wasn't gonna like this nigga but but he i he had more of a role to play than anna ripley so i'll put her i'll put him higher than uh i, I yeah i'll do that actually that like I hated him more than Anna Ripley, just b just because of like all the shit he did, right? But I guess that's like you know, I guess that's like good for his character, you know. But uh, fuck this guy. <laughs> the most satisfying, like you know, uh, like the best scene he was in was when Percy blew his fucking head off, bro. Let's keep it a buck fifty, dog. So yeah. Uh, next is Cassandra. Uh. I, I, I kind of already predicted that she was like, you know, like how her character was going to go as in she was going to betray Percy and then, and then, and then join the, and then be a good guy to like, you know, I, get, I don't know, some, some shit like that. But it's just like, I already kind of predicted what her character was going to be. So I wasn't really like, what the fuck, you know, moment for me. So I'll put her... I, I gotta put her in B because putting her with Anna Ripley is kind of fucked. So yeah, Delilah Briarwood. Again, I can't put her. 
higher just because uh bias kind of like allura i think i just think she's hot she, she was like you know messed up though i will like i kind of have to put her on the same tier as cassandra because like you know she did she she was like the the, the reason why the fucking plot moved for a good while her and her husband silas i'll probably put silas a little lower because i thought you know silas was like the weaker of the two as in like you know in like character so in my, in my personal opinion uh next up is i don't I, I don't know this lady but hold on let me let me let me uh let me get her name because i i, I did i did get the like you know the names of the characters so uh her name is Dula Dala June She's part of like the uh the Taldore Council or you know whatever the fuck they were called uh boring because she didn't fucking do anything like she was she she, she had like probably like some like the least you know uh I, I don't have like all okay I just realized I don't have all the council here because that would just be like everybody would be in boring and like outside of like three of the niggas in the council so yeah, she can just like represent like me and my uh, opinion of like uh, the Taldori Council, like m most of them, because they just kind of like you know didn't do shit. So yeah. However, this nigga and the next nigga did. We got Krieg or our Brimsight. This nigga right here, he got he he definitely like he, he definitely got me because I wasn't like I, I was definitely you know um. Not expecting him to be like the enemy, the uh, the the the, the dragon-related motherfucker, right? So I gotta have to put him in a. He 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 fooled me, he fooled me, and like obviously, uh, Gregory, uh, I forgot his last name, but Greg, uh, crazy good red herring, like he got like the the, the these two definitely got me because I was like, okay, this is the bad guy. Krieg's just like a fucking dickhead or whatever, but nah, that got me, that got me. I I I. I, I I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let that go. I'll say that uh, that happened to me. Yeah. That cuz I th that did. Like hey, they got it, bro. That uh th this uh this blatant red herring got my ass. So, yeah. Uh next up is Grog. Okay. So now we're getting into some of like the actual Vox Machina characters, bro. I shouldn't be missing anybody. No, nah, that's everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Grog. Okay. Season 1 Grog. I, I'd say it was definitely like, you know, like, uh, he, he wasn't like the funniest yet, but he wasn't like, you know, not funny. I'll put, I, I'll put him in a, and maybe like top of B, uh, like this one's hard because it's like, he can go like low A or high B for me. I'll, I'll just put him a low A and then like, you know, move him around if I need to. But, uh, I, I, I like, like season one Grog. He was pretty funny. You know, uh, he didn't like, you know. He obviously wasn't my favorite character because, like, I talked about it before in, like, an episode that, like... Oh, no. Uh, as of right now, y'all don't know what I said in, like, the season two episodes. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I will be, uh, I'll be uploading those soon. So, stay tuned for those. But, uh, yeah, season two, I expressed how I was feeling about a couple of the characters. Uh, but, like, you know, I'll, I'll get to that. Grog... A tier is fine. Like, low A tier. Uh, fucking Yenin. Um, season one Yenin. Uh, obviously, she helped with, uh, she helped Percy and, like, Vox Machina get his, uh, get Percy's sisters back, uh, Cassandra, and, and fight against Delilah and shit. So, I mean, she did, she definitely did more. So, like, uh, I'll put her in C. Because she, she like, that, she didn't really do a crazy t uh like metric ton of shit but she was she was prominent i'd say like you know more than like you know anna ripley i wouldn't know about more i, I would say more but yeah she's on like the same tier i probably put her like slightly lower because she did slightly less than anna ripley because like anna ripley was in more episodes like like especially like inside like the actual like you know base of the briar woods and shit so yeah next up is Kalith. um She's definitely like nearing like more of like the uh uh like where my like a uh, favorite in the Vox Machina group is, but like I'd still say she's like on like the um 
like especially season one she's definitely like lower-ish half of like the um the the motherfucking the group but yeah uh <laughs> we're gonna put him there uh next up is fuck I, I forgot i forgot the uh the dwarf girl's name in the uh, yeah kima kima from uh the council i think she's uh on honestly i mean season two i i could put her here but you know uh she did uh, she obviously didn't do as much as allura but uh i feel like she was she was pretty funny because she, she had some couple she, she had some lines there saying some shit i forgot exactly what she said but like she was pretty cool and she and you know yeah i know that i know that <laughs> but next up is percy okay percy we're, we're going into you know territory of like my favorite vox machina characters like from like the actual vox machina group this is, he's like third percy is third you know uh favorite in the vox machina group Kalith isn't fourth but like you know yeah she isn't fourth but like you know that's where i'm placing her <laughs> actually i'll move i'll move uh them down because they're like because uh they were just like good like you know deceiving and you know shit like that but I'll, i guess we'll save like the top for like vox machina and this could be like an accurate like portrayal like how i you know do the characters next up is pike okay so pike is my fourth favorite character i i believe that like you know especially in like first season she definitely had like some of the like uh some of the more character development even though like you know it was just because of uh because like the voice actress wasn't there and like they had to do something with their character i liked it i liked her like going on that like you know like uh, asking uh the everlight like why she left her but it was actually it was actually pike that left the everlight that was pretty cool that was pretty interesting i feel like her and percy definitely had like the most like development in season one season two it got way more into everybody else for sure but like they're not my favorite characters but definitely you know like up there and i feel yeah kalith yeah she i think she yeah she's in the right spot <laughs> okay uh next up is scanlan uh controversial but i i, I think scanlan's like my 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 sixth favorite in the vox machina group and and sadly grog is my last like least favorite but like they're okay I, I will say none of them i hate none of them i hate because they're obviously all in a tier and uh, you know you can tell who the last two people are <laughs> uh but yeah like this is this is this is probably like an accurate representation of everybody that's like uh like third and below this is like how i'd how i'd rank them percy pike kalith scanlan and grog this would this is obviously going to change a lot in season two that like for sure i have i have like some uh some new uh opinions on on the characters like i feel like these two are definitely interchangeable like kalith and scanlan like are definitely like fighting for uh fifth uh yeah fifth place yeah fifth place so yeah that's uh that's definitely like the only one that's like contested right there for me but uh, either way next is gilmore he's uh he's dope i like gilmore gilmore is funny <laughs> gilmore is funny i'll put him there uh i'll put him up here i'll put gilmore up there i feel i i really do find gilmore hilarious so yeah I, i'll put him there next is silas like i said when i when i was ranking delilah i'm going to be putting him lower than uh delilah just due to the fact i feel like he was like the uh the weaker of the two in my personal opinion because i i, I don't know i feel like i i feel like i was more interested in what delilah was doing because i actually like 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 how the plot was going she was the reason why silas was still even like around because she had to use her fucking dark magic to to keep him like you know and do all this shit and like come, make him come back and all that shit so realistically that nigga would have just been gone if, if delilah didn't do anything so yeah uriel honestly 
he was like okay he got like you know uh, mind controlled through like you know half of the series first like you know see like first part of the series he he was okay he was just like he was just the ruler of the kingdom he had to make the choices that's really it like he he did what he had to do outside of the fact he was mind controlled for a good while i'll put him obviously i'll have to put him against uh put him above most of the uh most of the um other council niggas because he obviously did more i'll put him up uh i'll probably put him slightly no 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 i'll put him below silas because silas is the one that or the, uh the briarwoods were the one that like fucking mind controlled them or him and kind of like you know just made him just like a, a mindless fuck for a little bit so and they and he arrested box mocking it because you know all that but now we're down to uh the last two that uh will be up here i'm just gonna put them both in s tier the siblings of vex and vax <clears throat> In season one of Vox Machina, Va Vex was my favorite character. Just just because she was like, I, I think I talked about it in the episode. I feel like she was like the most like competent and compelling. <clears throat> and I feel like in season one, she was, she was like the, she felt like the, the de facto leader of like Vox Machina. You know, just like, Maybe not like the actual leader, because I don't think the group has an actual leader. I feel like it's just like a collective, you know, like, you know, everyone just collectively agrees upon something. But like, Vex definitely felt like she was like the de facto leader a lot more than everybody else. So, yeah. <laughs> but um, once I finish season two, the, probably all of Vox Mach, I, I wouldn't say all of it, but a good chunk of it will probably change because someone has to be last and someone has to be first so that's how but like this will all change soon bro so um yeah like this this is definitely my um my my tier for uh season one obviously the only people i'm covering are boring and d because like you know who cares about them <laughs> but uh yeah no one in F so far, because obviously I don't think any of the characters are bad. I obviously, obviously, you know, it's not like the, the, the bad characters, but I mean, again, like how, how, how good of a bad characters are they? How, how good antagonists are they? That's, that's why, you know, and the antagonists are up here with the good people, quote unquote, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the heroes or whatever. So yeah, cause like, that's why Krieg is high or, and that's why Greg is higher because you know, they're up here. Delilah is super high. Silas is in CA. Yeah, like, that's why they're up here. So yeah, I just I was doing it in like how good of the how good of a character they are. Not like, oh, they're I hate this motherfucker and shit like that, right? Even though like realistically, I kinda am biased with like, you know, Anna Ripley and uh uh Byron or Bi Byrus or whatever. I don't fucking know. I forgot his name. But uh fuck those guys. <laughs> fuck Anna Ripley too. Uh, I'd lower her, but, like, she kind of, like, actually, like, did shit. I could probably move her down. But, yeah, she kind of actually, like, did shit in the episodes. You know, she was, she was actually slightly helpful sometimes. Even if Percy didn't like her, she was help. she was actually doing shit. But, yeah, I feel like this is a, um, I also, obviously, as you can see, I moved, uh, the dwarf lady. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's my list of season one box mocking characters. I'll move my head out of the way. So you can see that there's nobody in F, but there's people in D and Born. So, yeah. Let me know what y'all think about this. It's probably going to be like a... People are probably going to have some, some things to say about it. Though, I mean, again, this is just this is just off season one. I am not doing season two uh, tier list until I finish season two. And then obviously when season three come out, I'll do season three. I, I was thinking about doing an arcane one, but like, I feel like my my knowledge on that is a little blurry because it's like it's been a while since i've like you know done any arcane stuff like even like bridging the rift so uh i'll probably just do like a uh a tier list after i watch season two which again subscribe to the patreon because uh it's gonna be a bitch to edit that especially recently all all the uh show edits like vox machina uh, x-men 97 have just been getting destroyed by copyright so uh yeah go uh Go check out the Patreon. It would, it would uh, really appreciate it. I would appreciate it. It would really help me out. But anyways, I got nothing else. 
Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all later.